Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Brandon, bringing you the first ball review here on the channel, and that is of the recently released Black Widow 3.0. Bear in mind, this is my first Black Widow. Yes, I know I've missed out. Yes, it's been around for a while. I'm late to the party. I'm sorry. Anyway, Black Widow 3.0 features the infamous legendary gas mask core with a solid HK22 based cover stock. This thing is absolutely amazing. Let's just set it out there. Shout out to Jason Lundquist over at uh, Next Gen uh, Pro Shop in Stardust Lanes in Grove City, Ohio. Thanks to him for drilling this out. Don't ask me the numbers on it. I don't remember what it was off the top of my head, but essentially pin above my ring finger, or excuse me, my middle finger, mass bias about two inches away from the thumb. Uh, layout that I've been playing with on some asymmetrical balls, but we'll talk about that in a later video. But anyway, one of my struggles in that particular house, Stardust Lanes, is there's a large puddle in the middle. I'm not a high rev player. I'm more of a medium, medium tilt, uh, medium rev, medium tilt individual. So sometimes getting balls to get through the puddle, to get to the friction, and still have enough energy to retain down lane, it's kind of a struggle. So I'm forced to kind of play tighter and straighter. I did not have that option. This ball immediately, I'm inside 20. 25 as the as the games went on um and this ball was still in play this league is a four man or a three man league four games i came in as a sub um so i didn't get a chance to really warm up uh so i didn't get a chance to show my or set up my camera equipment so bear that in mind so what you're going to see are shots on the exact same pair so it's broken down which the ball still look good um on the broken down shot and I have to talk over it. Unfortunately, they were playing music because Open Bowling started at that time frame. So I, you really couldn't hear with the background noise. So I apologize for that. But we'll try to do something with that moving forward. But again, here's some shots. And I'll kind of talk over them, my thought where I was so you guys can get a better understanding and feel for the Black Widow 3.0. This shot here, I was inside at like 40, throwing in between the fourth and fifth arrow with ease. And the ball easily got back to the pocket and struck like it was nothing. Man, this thing is absolutely amazing. This shot, I was deep inside of the fifth arrow. Even though it got to the pocket and left me a solid 10 pin, I got to the pocket unlike any ball before. Now, in this shot, honestly, I got a little lazy with my hand, but it also showed where you kind of need to be precise with where you're throwing a ball, especially in a puddle. Now, I could have balled up to something like an Extreme Envy, which is coming next, or paid better attention to where my laydown spot was. But you know how it goes. Now, these next couple of shots are just me messing around inside 20 again. This one, I got a little too much hand and went a little Brooklyn. <laughs> now, this shot here is for those guys who go more up the boards, a little lower rev rate. So I took my hand out of it, went up the boards, got to the pocket, Pretty easy and still within that puddle. Here's another shot of me going up the boards, little to no hand. This is a great representation of those who have little hand, decent ball speed. It'll get to the pocket with ease. And one last shot for those guys who like to go up the boards. This one's for you, solid. I actually paid attention to what I was doing this time. <laughs> and the rest of these shots are just some different angles so you guys can get an idea of what ball motion looks like from a different perspective. This one was a little crazy. I This is where the ball gets a little goofy and I reached the limit. Here we are. Ugh, perfect shot. What can you do with that? Absolutely nothing. Gotta love it. And then last but not least, ending the video on a good note, the Black Widow 3.0 slinging logs. So guys, there you have it. There are some shots where I'm more on the outside part of the lane, the inside part of the lane. You saw some good shots. You saw some bad shots. Uh, one of the things that I found interesting is uh, when I got my hand more up the back of the ball, it was able to stay tighter, longer. So the question is, who is this ball for? Genuinely, I think this ball could really be beneficial for just about anybody. Again, if you're a high ref player, medium ref player, high tilt, low tilt, and you need something that'll get inside and still be able to maintain energy and drive through the pins in a continuous fashion, 
this is great. Maybe if you're that high-end player, high-rev player, put a little bit of polish on it and you'll get that much more use out of it. If you're a low-rev player and you're more comfortable with playing down and in and maybe you just don't have that hand to really get a ball to turn a corner, I genuinely believe that the Black Widow 3.0 is a ball that you need to pick up. Again, shout out to Jason Lundquist and his team over at Next Gen Pro Shop and Slice Stardust Lanes. If you're ever in the Grove City area, go check them out for sure. Tell them B. Ross sent you. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first video. Nothing hits like a hammer. Friends of Brunswick, I'm really excited to see what's next.